Welcome back to Onboard Lifestyle. You know, this world has been crazy the last few weeks, and it doesn't look like there's an end in sight, at least not yet. This situation with COVID-19 has affected the entire planet. And it has, it has affected us, too. Our long-term plans are up in the air right now. It is tough to forecast where we're gonna be six months from now, a year from now. You know, we had a good idea a month ago. We had it all laid out, but now it has changed. You know, our short-term plans is about as far as we could see into the future right now. With this virus, we're gonna have to change things. We're not gonna travel when we want. We're not going to do projects when we want. Everything's up in the air. So we're gonna take some time and talk a little bit about how it's affecting us right now and what we think needs to happen for the safety of our family in the near future. You know, we're in a very unique situation here on SV Basic. We're in Oregon and we have hot spots, Washington State to the north and California, another hot spot to the south. Oregon has about 10 times less infected people. And that's going to play a big part in our decision making on whether we travel south or not. I mean, ultimately, we wanted to be in California here in a couple of weeks. But I don't see that happening. Right now, we're in Astoria. And this county doesn't have one case yet. That plays a big role in our decision making. This is probably the safest place we could be on the whole West Coast right now. So we'll probably be here for at least another week and then make a decision. Do we stay another week or do we start traveling south? And these are things that we're gonna have to decide week by week. Right now, it's a no-brainer. This is about the best place we could be and we're staying. That means we have to prepare. Uh, before any cases hit Astoria, and I'm sure they're coming, I mean, this is a worldwide epidemic and you know, we're not gonna be isolated here for very long. We wanna make sure that we're prepared. Lynn's inside right now, going through our provisions and getting a game plan for food for over the next month or two for us. We wanna make sure that we stay quarantined on the boat as long as we can. Um, I think it's the safest thing for us. It's the safest thing for our family. It's the safest thing for this community. We wanna do everything we can to stop the spread. SD Basic is sitting in a good position in this marina. We're way out on an end tie. There isn't any boats within hundreds of feet of us. I have been watching uh, the traffic in this marina. There's maybe one or two liveaboards that I've seen and that's it. And there are a couple docks down. The traffic flow, occasionally we'll see somebody walk up and down the dock, but not in recent days. So where we're at is gonna be a pretty safe place, at least for the immediate future. So you guys see, I have my pantry all out. This is so I can just kind of take an inventory. I try to find any excuse possible to pull this out. Gil doesn't like it because it takes up everything. But this will give me a good visual of our inventory levels. Um, yesterday, I already started with our fridge and freezer. And I defrosted and cleaned everything out and gave me a sense of what was in the freezer and what we were low on. For the most part, uh, we're not low on uh, much in the freezer in regards to protein, but we are a little low on fresh produce. I like having as much produce as possible, and we don't really know what's happening right now. Um, so uh, we're gonna go to the store today to go pick some of that up, and then also top off anything that we're low on. For the most part, we are, uh, well provisioned for the next two months if we had to and it wouldn't even phase us but you know I mean it's better safe than sorry what I have here is about actually it's 50 containers and each container is 16 cups or 4 liters 
of things that I can fill up. I like having these because they're all one, it's uniform, and I can see everything. Plus, I can unpackage all of our containers and have less garbage and waste when we head out. But all of these containers hold just basics. I have my grains, I have my flour, sugars, um, and a lot of spices. I don't do anything pre-made, so it just kind of, to me, it's a lot more versatile to prepare meals on board instead of having specialty items. I try to steer clear away from cans because I don't like the rust and I just don't like just having those clink around. So buying things in bulk actually also saves me a lot of money. You know, it's pretty amazing after all this time how many of these containers fit into this. I mean, 39 containers is an awful lot. And I like doing these little inventory uh, checks on all of our provisions because sometimes I change things out and you guys saw that I uh, relabeled some, some items and it's because sometimes I have more pasta or you know want to accommodate for some tin canned foods. So it's, it's just really nice to have and I can access and see everything from right here. I love my pantry. We usually take the bus to go to the grocery store, but because we're practicing social distancing, we're, today we're going to take the dinghy. Emma, watch your head, duck down. No, oh, I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> items at the store wasn't too bad I think it's about a two mile trip each way so about four four and a half miles and wind's starting to pick up and it's getting getting kind of chilly so I'm glad to be back <laughs> I think we did pretty good um, this will last us about, I don't know, probably a couple weeks, maybe three weeks if we can stretch it um, in regards to fresh produce. We're pretty good. It's not as if we're scared. We just want to limit the amount of times we go to the store. As a matter of fact, when we took the dinghy ride, um, Teal and Emma stayed in the dinghy and I went ashore. I washed my hands. I went about doing whatever I needed to do and we came back and I washed everything prior to bringing it on board. It's nice to have a sink outside, by the way. But, you know, it's better safe than sorry. You know, these are uncertain times and you, we just don't know. There's a lot of unknowns with this virus and we just, it's just better to just err on the safer side. Because of COVID-19, schools all around the United States closed, except for mine. <sighs> I've been homeschooling for about two years, and I don't get weekends off, or teacher meetings off, or like late starts or anything, but that's okay, because I still really like school, and I have the most amazing, awesome teachers in the world. I think we need to redo that last scene again. Go away. <laughs> because we're practicing social distancing, I can't just go out and meet kids and just hang out with them. So I've gotten creative and I do group chats and FaceTime with my cousins and my friends. And that is a good way to stay in touch and it's better than nothing. So, Oregon State has just announced their stay-at-home order ordinance yep. for the entire state of Oregon. How does that affect us? 
well, it affects us. It, it, actually, it's a gray it, area. Okay, it is. It really is a gray area because, okay, we're not residents of Oregon, for one. That doesn't mean that we would not abide by their rules well, and yeah. their laws. But how does it affect a cruiser that's traveling through? Yes. And so we approached uh, the port office here and asked that question. Right. So I called over there and, because all their offices are closed at this point. Um, and, you know, they said they would rather that we stay here. Uh, we can continue moving, but they do not recommend us going to the next port of call unless we contact them and get clearance. And get clearance because who's to say that once we get there that they won't turn us away or fine us right um and i did call them i called them numerous times already and right now the next port of call their office is closed until april 1st they said that they're on a scale back crew in light <laughs> of the covid19 crisis and just leave know, a message they suggested that we leave a detailed message on what we want to do. It's kind of hard to explain that we just are passing through, but you know, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they'll at least give us, give us yeah, yeah, at least give and us just some information. Give us some guidance because, you know, right now in the county that we're in, there has been one case. Yep, and one that was popped just, up today. Yeah, was it yesterday or today? Last night. So yesterday there was one case. The next county that we want to go into has zero as of today. That doesn't mean it's not going to change. Right. And then the Look next, at the number change today for right. us. Right. And then the next port of call is also zero. The coastal towns for the most part are not as affected. Not yet. All yeah. the way down to Northern California from right. what we're looking at right now. So our hope is that we could get clearance and start moving. Um, once we get this information back we would love to just start hopping down and get through Oregon and into at least Northern California these are not hot spots it looks like it's safe for us to travel it's just getting that clearance before we enter each port but at the same time we want to be as safe as possible we want to you know be cautious in our travels you know for the you know we are self quarantined already this is our little entity. Yeah, it's our nature and, of our lifestyle. Yeah, and, you know, but trying to have other people understand that while we're traveling because it's almost like an oxymoron. You it know, is. you're social distancing and you're... Moving um, at the same time. And you're moving at the same time. But we, we're we just trying to make sure that the boat stays fully provisioned so if we do get the clearance that we can continue moving. We're going to take every precaution that we can um, when we go into port and limit our contact with other people because who's to say we don't have it? We don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> but, not, not but yet. Not yet. I yeah. mean, we don't know. This you, is, you don't there's know. so many unknowns with this and it is scary out there. But you know right what? Now. We're not going to let this get us down and we're not going to sit here and sulk and do nothing. We still have, we have our lives to live. Yeah, we still have plenty of projects that we, we have can food, do here. We have entertainment. We have each other. We're yes. so lucky that, you know, we have our family in place with us. You know, there are other people that are separated right now. Some in different countries. You know, we have friends that are in foreign countries that they can't even swim in the water. They can't go to shore. And they're stuck on their boats. So we have it pretty easy. So we have it pretty good. I'm not going to complain too much. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, it's, I just feel like we're, we've had so many obstacles. And it's very easy to stay negative. But I'm going to choose to stay positive about this. Because if we all do our part, then we can get back to normal life. And, and be able to travel. So in the meantime, in the meantime, we wait for information, <laughs> and if we get that information, I think we just start trickling our way down the coast, if it's possible, if we're allowed to. If not, we still have plenty to do on this boat. Well, we have plenty to do, but this also will yes. cut into our our sail plan project because I don't know how to get materials how in to because get materials in because everybody is on scale back plans right so this may give us a little hiccup 
It doesn't mean that it's going to stop. No. And I, we do have plenty of projects on board we can, with plenty yeah, of material that we can stuff. we yeah. can stay busy for weeks. Gosh, I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. And I know that you so guys... So basically we talked for five minutes said we're in limbo. Well, you know. I it mean, is what it is. Yeah. I mean, everybody out there has their own hardships, but... We're trying to share ours with you guys and we hope you guys all stay safe so in the meantime we are drinking our sorrows away you have to stay hydrated <laughs> so there you go thanks for watching this week's episode of onward lifestyle the covid 19 virus has turned the world upside down and we will do our best to stay safe and healthy we hope you guys will do the same so that we can all get back to our normal lives. Come back next week to see how this pandemic affects our travels. Remember to be kind and see you then!